with all the crime that currently exists in Chicago, I have no idea why the police feel like they need to manufacture reasons to arrest people. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Chicago police say they are reviewing a controversial sting operation with growing criticism that their approach interests minorities. Cell phone video shows officers leaving behind what they're calling a bait truck in the city's south side neighborhood of Inglewood. It is filled with expensive name brand shoes. Three men were arrested. Adriana Diaz spoke with residents who believe officers tried to lure them into committing a crime. Adriana, good morning to you. Good morning. Cargo thefts at places like this rail yard are a major problem in Chicago. Burglars have even broken into containers here with brand new firearms inside, leading to more guns on the streets. To crack down on thefts, police launched Operation Trailer Trap, which activists call unethical. It looks like a routine traffic stop on Chicago's south side. Police pulled over this cargo truck last Friday, then appeared to arrest the driver as part of a sting operation. They show and they took him away, left the truck, ain't no lock on back of the truck. So they want somebody to go in and mess with the truck. The day before, residents say they saw the same vehicle parked on a different street. This time, police arrested a man who they say broke into the unmarked semi. And they got a big truck in the hood. But the guy, he was looking for something to eat. He was, yeah. Community activist Charles McKenzie believes police were using a truck filled with expensive Nike and Louis Vuitton shoes to entrap residents in a poor neighborhood. So you feel like police are targeting the community? Yes. Yeah. They want us to build a relationship with them, but when they stop pulling the truck up, they see, up they see, like this, case trust. Chicago Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson said Operation Trailer Trap was led by the Norfolk Southern Railroad Police with Chicago police assisting. They have been experiencing a lot of theft of firearms up there. So we have a responsibility to keep these firearms off the street and, and out of the hands of the wrong people. Many members of this community say this is not helping, this is hurting, this is straining relations. I understand that, which is why I said we're going to take a hard look at it. Norfolk Southern Railroad said there's a lot of misinformation about the operation, noting the three men who were arrested were seen on surveillance videos cutting open the trailer's safety seal and attempting to run off with the shoes inside. At the end of the day, someone shouldn't break into a truck. Right, that's, that's wrong. But if you put something in a community where no one has nothing to do or no money, what's your stuff? Chicago is the nation's largest rail hub, and nationwide cargo thefts accounted for nearly $27 million in losses in 2016. That number's down, according to the security network Cargo Net, except for here in Illinois, where thefts are up. Vlad? Adrian, hey, yeah, thank you so much for your reporting. BBN, Jack Frost, what's up, party people? All right, so. Before we go any further, let's just make this 100% clear. Stealing from the shipyard or stealing just in general or just seeing something that is not yours and deciding to pick it up and take it from where it was at is not good. No one is in any way trying to defend anyone that is a thief and steals things. I'm pretty sure in the comment section I'm going to hear about how I'm defending them. So I'm saying this early and I already said it once and here it goes again. Nobody's defending thieves. I still know that people are going to be in the comment section saying I'm defending thieves. <sighs> anyway. This police work. That is a crime is being committed or has been committed. Pardon me. Or even in the process, but in the commission of being committed. But a crime has been committed. And you go through the different steps that it takes in order to find the, the, and apprehend the individual that committed the crime. That's police work. Police work is not driving a, what, putting a suspect or a potential suspect in a position to commit a crime. That's more like aiding and abetting, right? Isn't that what aiding and abetting is? When you're helping someone to commit a crime? You can't help someone commit a crime and then arrest them for committing said crime. 
where do they do that at? So, basically, I just heard what happens. But did y'all really hear what happened? Initially, the police parked the truck in one spot. Nobody stole from it. It went unrobbed. So they said, you know what? Maybe people just think this is a regular truck. And maybe people don't know that the person who drives the truck either isn't there or won't be coming back. So what we'll do is we'll take the truck. We don't know how, how far they drove the truck. But make sure that we drive the truck with our, stop it with our cars. Everybody see us stop them. Then everybody or people, potential thieves, can then see us arrest the gentleman, drive him off, and leave the truck, and leave the truck unguarded. I mean, I don't know how much more of an aiding and abetting you can get. There was products that needed to be guarded. They stopped the truck and got the individual that was guarding the truck and then arrested him. So now everything on and in the truck is unguarded and anybody can come take it. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming this is aiding and abetting. This is entrapment. So anyway, some idiots jump on the truck, they steal the stuff, they get busted, they go to jail, they get locked up, which is good for them. They shouldn't have been trying to take things that were not theirs. Don't get this confused. I'm not arguing this point. But let's say there's a famine. And let's say there's a town that it doesn't have enough food to feed its occupants. And you drive a cart through the town. Because <laughs> it got to be a cart because there's a famine. So it's like it's like horse and buggies. Like this is before the industrial age. Anyway, so you drive a cart through the town. The the guy that's driving the cart, you take him to the, to the, you lock him up. You arrest him right there on the spot. Y'all jump off y'all horses, y'all arrest him. Y'all leave the cart with all the food. To then want to arrest the starving people who are taking the food and eating it. That's some bullshit. It's basically what was done here. Although it was not food, it was possible income to an individual who most likely, if you're at home in the middle of the day and you don't do YouTube, you don't have income. Well, I mean, you could work at night. I mean, there's tons of different things, but we're talking specifically about people who don't have income. So please, stay out of the comments telling me about that. Matter of fact, go in the comments. Tell me about that. All A. Like, as many different ideas as you have, go in the comments and tell me about them. How about that? So, that's basically what the police did. They drove a truck through an obvious area where there is financial ruin, people are financially strapped, there's people that probably got hungry kids at home, hungry themselves, they parked a truck full of Jordans. Now, I'm pissed off that this is some super racist shit. Why couldn't it have been a truck full of Adidas? There is no black people, they can't, they can't deny them Jordans. Them black people, we gotta have our Jordans. Yo, what sneakers should we get to put in the bake truck? What you mean, what sneakers you get? Get some Jordans. You put you put the Adidas in that bake, tr bake truck, they might not steal them. We know they gonna steal some Jordans. These is them niggas. So I'm kind of upset over that. That's, that's some racist shit. I don't care if it was black people who did it. That was, that was just, I, I'm kind of upset over that right there. But anyway, I want to know what you guys think. This is just some real BS. And then more so to the point, you, 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 you want to stop people from robbing from the shipping yard? The place that they parked the truck in the middle of the street, that wasn't the shipping yard. How does getting somebody robbing that truck get anyone that's involved in the shipping yard robberies? I want to know this. Seriously, how? How does that get anyone involved in the shipping, in the shipping yard robberies? I don't understand how. It can't. Anyway, that just, that just shows you the BS. That's just the BS right there. And just, just you know, just something to think about. 
Didn't this bait truck sneaker thing happen right after people was talking about all the guns that they park in trucks and leave them open? Right? How come you don't get the guy stealing the guns, but you get the guy stealing the sneakers? I need to know this. Please inform me. The guys that were stealing the guns off the truck, they get away. But the guys that are stealing the sneakers, y'all make sure y'all snap, y'all nab those guys. Got to keep those sneakers off the streets. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.